occupied of all the areas. Yes. I know the faces of those of you that were organizing since the 1960s, yes. organized in the 1970s before many boats. He's the one that we have to follow up. You know, the other is that life is like a marathon. You know how we start it. It's how we end it. And I feel that, you know, we need, definitely need to continue organizing, going carbon free in the city of New York. But for me, I'm not saying that because I'm a politician. I'm still living my life with those values. Mm. You know, I can say my record when you reach to the legal conservancy, eight goals all the time. The money is signing bills that fight against the Ryan Joseph climate change. Mm -hmm. You know, we march together supporting the youth. By year from now, many of you took the street. And you show the adult that we can have hope, that we have not lost this fight. That Carolina, Maria, Sandy, Scott, John, Ina, Glory, the last three months, send a clear message that the planet is in danger. Yes. I'm a little bit of 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 a little bit
side for a second, so I can let all the people lay down. My name is Pete. I'm with New York Communities for Change. 
Uh, we are going to uh, walk you through something that we've done many, many times before, which is to go talk to council members on the spot to get them to support this legislation and help move it forward. So I'm going to walk through that while yelling really loudly. Woohoo! Here's the thing. This sounds like a difficult thing to do, to go find your council member and talk to them on the streets. And it is a difficult thing to do. But they are walking right now between these buildings, 250 Broadway and City Hall. They have a meeting at City Hall at 1.30. They will not start on time. They never start on time. So there is a very high likelihood that your council member is going to wander around right there. Is everyone following me here, the plan here? All right, okay. So now your next thought is, well, what do I say to my council member? Well, you are a constituent and they listen to you. So they are generally very happy to talk to someone outside of City Hall who is a constituent. Okay, so this is going to be less awkward than you think. A lot less awkward. This happens all the time. So, the key thing here is knowing who your council member is and what they look like. Okay, so, I'm gonna ask a threshold question here and don't be embarrassed if you don't know who your council member is. Raise your hand if you know who your council member is. Does everybody, almost everybody, looks like, okay. Okay, so some of us do not. So what we are now going to do, if you do not know who your council member is, you can whip out your smartphone now or go to one of the nice staffers who are helping with this event. Raise your hand, nice staffers. Raise your hand, nice staffers. There you go. Really, this is anybody with a smartphone. And they can help you look up who your council member is by looking at the map on the New York City Council website. Okay, so now, raise your hand if you know what your council member looks like. Okay, so not surprisingly, this is less than the number of people who know who their council member is. So, if you do not know what your council member looks like, go to the New York City Council website right now, while I'm yelling, now, and look at their faces. They love to show their faces on their website. It pops right up. So look at the New York City Council website. Look for the face of your council member. Now, imprint that face in your mind. So, 
are 23 co-sponsors right now. I am going to read them off right now, okay? So I'm gonna read you the names of the 23 co-sponsors, but at the same time, you can easily look it up on the, on the website for the city council by searching legislation. However, I'm gonna read it out right now. Here are the 23 co-sponsors. Alika Amphrey Samuel, Carlina Rivera, the public advocate, Jumani Williams. He has a vote in the council. He can break ties. He runs the floor. That's the job. Part of it. Um, Jimmy Van Bramer, Antonio Reynoso, Brad Lander, Helen Rosenthal, Ben Kalos, Stephen Levin, Danny Trom, Dharma Diaz, Diana Ayala, Carlos Menchaca, Adrian Adams, Inez Barron, Margaret Chin, Robert Cornegy, Adonis Rodriguez, Mark Levine, Kevin Riley, Lori Combo, Karen Kozlowitz, and Eric Dinowitz. Those are the sponsors. There are currently 49 members in the city council. We are two away from a majority because we have 23 co-sponsors. We want to get the council members who are not on that list to co-sponsor the bill. That's what you're asking those council members to do. So if I didn't read off the name of your council member just now, you are asking them to co-sponsor Alika Amphrey Samuel's bill to end gas in new construction. So that's it. It's 2317. It's the bill number. 2317. You're asking them to support 2317, co-sponsor it. It's a great bill, it, 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 and whatever you want to say about it from there is great. But the main thing is you are a constituent, and you are asking them to co-sponsor 2317. Now, if your council member is already a co-sponsor, what do you think you want to ask them to do? Get their college. Yes, yes. Go to Speaker Johnson. Tell him to move this bill to the floor for a vote. And that's what we want them to do. So first, thank you. Thank you for being a co-sponsor of this bill. Can you go talk to Speaker Johnson right now, today, and ask him to move it to the floor? Is that clear? Yes. Yes. Well, thank you very much. So, Thank you. Thank you. Woo! Woo! 